see our little girl. <clears throat> and because we can crack the pelvis on this, we can see a few more things that we couldn't see with the nail. But here we see actually nicely injected veins down here, post cava, ilial lumbars. In humans, they go right across here. They're right parallel with each other, line up with each other. So it almost looks like a belt. Common iliac artery and vein, diving deep into the pelvis, internal iliac artery and vein, external iliac artery and vein. This is a muscular tributary you don't need to know the name of. Femoral, saphenous, and popliteal. Looking pretty nice, actually. Good job. Here, let's look at the female parts. Here's the ovary, the oviduct, horn of the uterus, or uterine cornu, body of the uterus, and down below that, the vagina, where it now, see how it now is grammatically right there? Here's the bladder, the urethra, and of course, behind all of that, we're in the pelvic cavity, so that's rectum. You don't have to worry about finding the anal canal. You think about it, a human anal canal is two inches. So scale down to the rat, how much space you can have to work with here. All right, I think that, oh yeah, the blood vessels. I didn't do enough on that, I think. So coming up here, mesenteric arteries and veins, small branches coming off, intestinal arteries and veins. I'm not gonna ask you about them, but same thing, intestinal refers to small intestine, large intestine is referred to by colic, so any of these little vessels we see along here would be colic veins and arteries. And I think we got the adrenal lumbar. Here we can see the ovarian artery and vein going to the ovary. Is there anything else I might have missed? Not now. Okay. Ethan. All right. Ethan, you okay? Yeah. No claspers.